Welcome to this little tutorial on option trading. I'm going to give you one extra little tip that can make a dramatic difference in your trading. Sometimes it just takes one little extra thing that can make a big difference called a lever. So this could be one of those levers that you add to your current option trading, or if you're not familiar with options, well, then you're going to be ahead of the game because even a lot of seasoned option traders don't use this tool. So here's what it is. It is, drum roll please, feel like I need a sound effect machine here. It is beta. Beta. So lots of people use the Greek such as, oh, delta, gamma, theta, vega, they're all good. You should know what those are. Beta, however, is actually a Greek applied to the stock. So the underlying stock, remember options are derivatives of stocks. And so we want to look at the thing itself, the, the stock pattern. So here's an example real quick. I'll just show you what we did. We did a scan for stocks that are below the lower linear regression channel. All right, and that's brought these candidates up. So now we've got all these candidates, and if I click through them all, you'll see that each one is below that lower linear regression channel. Now, in order to take this trade, we actually need more than just the information I have here. But again, the point of this video is not the linear regression channel trade. The point is how to sort through whenever you get a number of candidates like this from any scan that you might do. How do you choose between the candidates? How do you choose which is the best one? Well, one of those distinguishing factors that I use is my good old friend beta. So we're going to sort by beta. I just clicked on that to sort from a low to high. So first of all, what is beta? Well, beta is a very simple concept. It measures volatility and in options, especially, you know, volatility is very, very important. It's usually measured by, we've got your historic vol volatility or statistical. You've got your implied volatility. But here's a third measure of volatility that I find very helpful. And beta is the stock's volatility in relation to the S&P 500, which is generally considered the benchmark of the equities world. So the S&P has a beta of 1.0 or 1. So if any of these stocks here that we're looking at, if they have a beta of over 1, that means they are more volatile than the S&P 500 and those less than one are less volatile. And so what is the advantage of volatility? Well, knowing this is huge in its impact because if, for example, now it's going to depend on your option strategy, how you want to treat beta. So let's say that we want to be aggressive and just simply buy some calls. Okay, well, we've got to overcome um, the, the cost of buying those calls, first of all. And so we've got to get a good directional move, a big directional move. And volatility is just that. It's the range of movement. So we want a wide range movement if we're just going to do a simple thing like buy calls or buy puts. So a high beta will give us a higher probability of getting that move, overcoming the cost of the option that we paid for. And so we want a high beta. So sorting by beta, I can look at this and say, okay, well, all of these meet the parameters of my stock scan, but which one do I want to trade? So AT&T has the highest beta. Now I'm not going to consider, I'm going to consider that, but not alone. It's not an isolation. It's one more very important and helpful piece of evidence. So as traders, we're putting together a preponderance of the evidence in order to take a trade. But a lot of people don't consider this piece of evidence and it is a mistake in my opinion to not consider that piece of evidence. So now eventually, you know, we look at all these different things and people get stuck and they get, um, you know, all caught up in, oh gosh, I can't decide, can't decide, can't decide. That's a big part of trading, right? At some point, you just got to build up the nerve and go in for the kiss. <laughs> so if you're going to be a trader, you've got to be a decision maker. And when one of the ways that makes it easier to make a decision is when you get a lot of uncorrelated pieces of evidence in the direction of your trade. So this, again, don't trade just on beta alone. Don't Definitely don't just trade on it being above or below the linear regression channel alone. But we add pieces of evidence. I'm giving you one more tool here to add to your complete trading um, strategy, as we would call it. Okay, that's an official word, you know, that's been made famous and wasn't by me. Uh, so our trading strategy here would be to, all right, as I look at all of these, which one do I want to go with? Well, that's going to give some extra weight to AT&T. Now, uh, Voya's also um, got a 
a beta over 1.3. Now that's not that much over. If we go down to um, uh, Dollar Tree, then that's got the least. So I probably am not going to be buying this. Now, if you have a low beta, let's just go to the other side, and not particularly with this um, chart example, this chart start bah, chart structure. I'm not even going to edit that out. Hey, what you what you hear is what you get. Um, if you're trading strategies such as oh iron condors, butterflies, things where you're only going to make money if the market stays within a certain range. You don't really want the market to move a lot. You don't want it to go up or down very much. Then you would want to be looking for stocks with a beta that's very, very low. The lower the beta, the better in that case. So you can use this for many different option strategies. It's not just looking for big moves. It's also when you're not looking for big moves, when you don't want the market to make a big move. So uh, put that in your trading pipe and smoke it. <laughs> but seriously, I consider it, add it. What I do is I just, like I said, I don't scan for beta because it's not a primary decision maker, but it's those other little ancillary things that can be a huge difference between profitable and non-profitable. So it isn't primary, it's maybe secondary or maybe even tertiary, but once I get several candidates that I like, and then I'm trying to decide among these candidates, then I look at the beta and this will be, it's a tiebreaker is what it really is for me in my trading system. It's a tiebreaker. So, uh, check it out. I encourage you to add it as a column in your watch list and sort by it in a relative basis. And when you get a couple of um, uh, trades that are looking very, very close, make sure, because it can really make a huge difference, right? We want a big, this goes toward our risk reward ratios where it really goes to the bottom line. It goes to your reward part of that ratio. Not so much the risk, although it can on that too. But if you want a big reward, you want a big beta. You want that, that market to really move to haul patootie. All right, so for all you patootie haulers out there, I don't know where I'm coming up with this. I'm kind of in a silly mood today. But anyway, hope you don't mind uh, some silly dad jokes along the way. I've got two kids, and so I'm an official dad, and uh, I do have a license to tell dumb dad jokes. I'm not afraid to use it, obviously. On a more serious note, <laughs> I don't know why I'm in a goofy mood today. Um, I'm going to give you one of my option courses for free. And it is um, cleverly designed to give you very, very powerful option strategies that a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people don't use, like beta. Beta will review beta in this course, but also some other things. So it's not just the basics of options, although if you're starting options, this will give you a head start before other option traders. And if you've been trading options for a while, again, there's some edges in there that, you know, we say you need an edge to be trading, and that's what that course is all about and why I love option trading so much, even more than stocks, futures, forex, commodities, Options is really my go-to market because there are, there's so many different things in there that um, probabilities and statistics that will give us an edge that other markets don't. So if you want to see what those are exactly, go to freeoptionscourse.com. I know, very creative URL that I created there, freeoptionscourse.com, and um, get it for free. There's three videos there. They're all real short and to the point, but um, I think you're going to really, really like what you see. So enjoy. And by the way, if you have any comments on this video, feel free to type them down below. If you like it, give us a like. Uh, any comments that you have, even if you have questions, type them down below. I'm usually pretty good at getting back and uh, answering questions on these videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you like it so that, and, and click the notification button so that you'll be notified of future videos when they come out. I usually bring out a video about once every week or so. And, um, I continue to give uh, value to the community and I'd like to give that value to you as well.